Hello friends. Hey, I'm going to take you inside to see my five canvases that I worked on in 10 days. Um, was lots of fun. My husband was away. He was babysitting for 10 days up in North Carolina. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to bring all my stuff upstairs. I'm going to have a blast. And I had bought these large canvases, 36 by 36 from Blick Art. And I have my pouring medium, and I thought, this is the great time. I'm going to do intuitive. I'm going to play with pouring medium. I'm just going to do whatever I want. And I did. I had fun, and I didn't really make a mess, so that was really good. Um, I was able to clean up really well. As long as you use drop cloths, you know, make sure you have plastic on the floor. And I'll give you a tip about the pouring medium. If you use that, wear rubber gloves. It's great stuff, but if it gets on your hands, I found that the only way I could get it off was with alcohol. So you can use soap all day long and try to get it off. It would not come off. So uh, use alcohol to clean that up and wear rubber gloves. That's what I suggest. And I did after that incident. I wore rubber gloves through it all. And, you know, I like to get my hands in the paint, but you really have to be careful when you're putting another medium with your acrylic to see what that medium will do. And I'm sorry for the mess around me. I brought so much stuff upstairs, and then I brought it all back down, and it's just a disaster in here. So I went, I bought crates and stuff, so I have some new stuff to store things in. Uh, Walmart actually had them, these really pretty, colorful little crate things. I may go back and get more. They were only like $3.97, and they're like in teal and pink and beautiful colors, orange. So I'm going to fix that up in here. But I just wanted to share with you. So 10 days, 10 days I had. 10 full days and 5 canvases. So as we go through, I will explain each canvas to you. And i got to tell you, if you get the chance to do something, push yourself. Do it. I was very intimidated with this whole idea. Um, I actually had my friend Tippy, uh, she's spellbound here on YouTube, on the FaceTime with me and she was like going you know rooting me on and she's like once you get done you'll love it you'll be so excited you know working on a large canvas is a lot of fun so it really was and I'm glad I did it I'm glad I pushed myself that bit to get myself and it took me I'll tell you a couple of days before I felt com comfortable so give yourself time but if you ever wish to work large do it uh, try it do it I know you know usually I'm working um, in my journal or I'm doing 12 by 16 I think is the biggest and then I did a larger one a month ago uh, my my son kept getting after me to do it and I did it and I enjoyed it but now these are bigger than the one I did so uh, really really had fun and I just thought I would share with you and hopefully inspire you. If you if you thought about doing something like this, do it if you have the room. Now, I really don't have the room, so I'll have to wait until my garage is cooled down so I can go in there and, you know, work with the garage door open. Because right now it's so hot here. It's so humid. You just really can't. But, oh, another thing that's really good that I wanted to share was if you go to the dollar store and you buy their dollar I mean the dollar I go to dollar what is it dollar tree everything is a dollar not dollar general because some of the things are a dollar and some of the things are not a dollar so I went to dollar tree and I got for a dollar a piece I bought uh, shower curtains and after buying a roll of plastic drop uh, cloth or whatever it is uh, from the hardware store for five dollars I realized my goodness for five dollars five of those are give me a lot more than five dollars of on a plastic roll so and they're pretty even though you're gonna drop paint on them but they're pretty so make sure that you put drop cloths down when you're using the pouring medium you don't want to get that on your floor I mean acrylic by itself isn't too bad you you know it kind of turns to plastic and you can kind of pop it up but uh, I have wood floors upstairs, and I didn't want to mess them up. So I I haven't used the shower curtains yet. I wound up using because I had gone to the hardware store and got the plastic first. But it did work. Uh, it did work. I didn't get anything on my floors. I didn't make a mess, uh, which my husband will be very happy to know. 
and uh, that that's it. It was just a lot of fun, and I plan on doing it again and again and again. So I hope you enjoy this, and it's definitely just an inspirational quick video, and I will see you inside. Love you guys. Mwah. Okay, I just wanted to show you my setup. I'm going to be doing a, a big picture there. Ah, you can see right through with the sun. I have a lot of light in this area. This is my living room, dining room area. House is up high. It's You can see the trees out there. It's kind of like living in a tree house. It's really cool. Uh, one side of the house goes up and then it drops down in the backyard a little bit where the pool is but the front of it so the house looks a lot bigger from the outside than it really is but it's really not a big house it's only about um i think it's about 1100 square feet or something like that some somewhere in there 11 12 not much um so this is the setup this is the table i brought things upstairs because my studio unfortunately is way too small to do a painting of that size so i have the camera set up here my little dinky camera here because i use my webcam downstairs which i love but it has to be connected to the computer and the computer's downstairs so these are some of the things that i'm going to be using i have some of my um heavy bodies i have uh some of these that i i just bought from um uh, Dick Blick, they had these Sennelier, I believe these are Sennelier, yeah, on sale. I got those, uh, a whole bunch of different colors in here to use. I also have deco art uh, paints, so I'll be using a mixture of different things, but I just wanted to show you um, what all that I'm going to have ready in case I want to use it. I may not use all these, but I wanted to have it ready. So this is my palette, uh, my water, my sponges some old funky um i don't know stamps that i had made um it's all the different size sponge brushes my water spray bottle um these little pouncy things my brayer that i use for just putting on paint a spatula oh and this i wanted to show you the i bought these in the dollar store and I thought how cool they were two bucks they were two dollars and they were attached together and because uh, I would have been dying to buy one of these from the art store but they're like I think ten dollars so if you can get them cheaper you go to the dollar store or anything you know and just and these too this looks kind of cool to use now I have a toothbrush I have more sponges makeup brushes uh, my baby wipes and then all kinds of different um, I took one of my uh, little jars of some of my paintbrushes and mm, some mediums. I've got the open acrylic medium and I've got the GAC 100 medium. And then of course, you know, you can always just use your water to thin out the paint. So, so that's what I've got. Oh, I've got some um, stencils there and that's about it. I think that is it. Oh, and I put, Plastic down, which is a good thing, drop cloth. I'm gonna put some more down. And of course, the Liquitex pouring medium, which I had the most fun with. So this is the bottle that I uh, had. I got this as a present. These paintings are totally experimental for me. I needed to try painting large, and I know I need lots more practice, but at least I finally started. I will put all the links below to uh, Liquitex, Golden, Deco Art, and also I bought the canvases from DickBlick.com, and they were premium canvases, and they were had a, were having a great sale. So I'll put the link for them too.
to show you this. Um, I'm using the pour medium for the, um, this is going to be a flower pot. And I decided to just make the flower pot and the flowers using the pouring medium. And you just see the movement in this. I mean, it is so, <laughs> so wonderful to do. I sprayed alcohol on it and water and you can put salt and it just look at that beautiful flow of that paint. This has been so much fun working with the pouring medium. Now I'm going to try to keep it contained into the just the flower pot area and then on the flowers themselves. This is actually the first pa painting that I worked on. It's showing as painting number two only because I'm showing you it as the second painting, but it really, really was the first. And I had the most trouble relaxing and working on a large canvas. And this one, I just, I put too much color on it. I had to just put gesso over it and start all over again. And uh, finally, just let myself go and let everything just come out and I think then it, it started to happen for me. sorry that this came out so dark I you know I didn't adjust the lighting it was getting dark and I didn't realize this camera you know I mean it's it's not a very good camera for video and I should have had more lights on it um, on the subject but you can see that I was putting in laying in lots of color finally got where I like this poor canvas <laughs> just the first one was really great started with it should have left it alone and just had to go overboard with it and then once I put the gesso on and had to start all over I could think straight again and now I'm loving this one I think the whole idea with intuitive is just let it flow no matter if it's a small or a large and I, the large just really intimidated me and I just had to kind of get myself pulled together and then I finally let it flow and then I was able to create what really was inside you know it just poured out of me. just kind of looking at it and I'm just putting my hands over it. I just wanted to feel it and, and just make sure I was done and see if there was anything else I needed to do and um, just see if I got any more feeling from it, any vibration saying, okay, you need to add more, you need to stop. So I stopped and I was really happy with it.
Okay, so this one I decided to put molding paste all over the bottom portion. Now I had seen a picture done by Tibby, which is, who is Spellbound here on YouTube, and that was my inspiration for this. So I'm using modeling paste, and then on the top I will coat it with matte medium. So after that dried, I started laying in some color. I used some glazing uh, fluid. You can see the little sign down there because I went to sleep at night and I was like, okay, I need to remember in the morning to glaze. So that's what I did. And then I put my pinks and hot colors in for the sky representing Arizona sky and then the blues and the greens representing the ocean here. I love them both so I, I thought it would be nice contrast for each other. I don't have any beginning to this I just didn't even tape any of it it was so much fun I just was using pouring medium and just going at it I mean I just had a blast with this one this was definitely experimental I threw salt on it I sprayed it with alcohol I sprayed it with water I just did fun and that pouring medium when you mix it with the paint it's wonderful it's so much fun and it dries so cool so I really enjoyed this one As we head into painting five, I'm showing you the base of it. Now, I don't know if you can see what I see, but I see the ocean. And uh, when I get this done, I will definitely share it with you. But this is going to be oil on it. And I cannot finish the oil in the house. Uh, I have to wait and do it in the garage when it cools down. So when I do, I will show it to you. I have a schedule done of what I'm going to be doing to this. But I hope you can visualize this is going to be under the ocean and there'll be a beautiful mermaid. And But she'll be, she's going to be a fairy uh, mermaid. So it's it's just really going to look really cool. I But I just got to, I got to use the oil. I've got to try using the oil over the acrylics and do my one final test. So I will be back with this eventually. Hopefully I will get it done in the next few months. If it cools down here, then I thank you for being here and I hope you enjoyed this. I have a special offer. If you join me over at Patreon and check out my page and become a patron, a paid patron, and sign up for a pledge for the Grateful Gypsy level, you will receive a 5 by 7 print of this Star Fairy picture, plus all the other exclusive rewards that come with that level. So if you click on the link above, it'll take you over to my page, or also there's a link in the description area below. So I hope you'll join me over there and please don't forget to share my videos and subscribe and give me a thumbs up if I inspire you and leave me comments. Guys, I love you. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you next time.